Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonStudio.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm gonna do a hay special. No, not really a hay special. It, it does look a bit like Ebola special. <laughs> Let me take this off. Uh, the reason why I wear that is because Singapore haze is getting worse and uh, I have to protect myself because I got a little bit of asthma. So if my voice broke uh, you know, while playing this game, please pardon me. Right, so basically what I'm going to do now is to show you the Town Hall 9 base defense. And um, hopefully it will satisfy your curiosity whether or not it's effective or not. Uh, okay, first thing first, this is a farming base. As you can see, I got an exposed Town Hall. So um, majority of the time, I will actually lose uh any battle and uh, i'll get some sort of uh, shield uh, that is the main reason to expose the town hall for uh, the protection of your base during uh, offline period okay just to show you my defense replace you can see that there's a couple of defense here and majority of the time is below 50 percent uh, that's one fifty percent um, majority of the time is less than fifty percent and that is the power of a good design, even though you are not maxed out yet at a trophy of 1837. So let's take a look on the first replace, which only uh, achieved like 17%. Let's take a look. What do we have here? <laughs> okay, this I already like uh, did not really uh, go back to replenish the, the uh, what I call that, the traps. So I'm quite curious on how uh, how the enemy actually attack only 17% using what they have right now. Okay, so currently you can see using the archers to attack my town hall. So we'll get uh, uh, trophies by winning the battle. So he dropped in some reinforcement troops on the left side. And some hot riders. And a healing spells. Wow, okay. Oh, giant bomb. So the Hot Riders are destroyed without uh, destroying much of the defense. Okay, he, he, tri he triggered a hidden Tesla on the corner side. And he's a uh, level 3 Archer Queen uh, uh, attempting to attack the cannon and actually won. So the minions are trying to attack on the right side, but the air defense is uh, defending it quite well. The Expo actually destroyed the Archer Queen. And I think he, he actually deciding probably not to use the rest of the troops because he knows uh, he might not be able to get much of the base but he does get 134,000 gold and 117,000 elixir which is <coughs> relatively good using the amount of troops he, he have <coughs> okay the next defense is 19% uh, and actually won a defense <laughs> which is quite funny <laughs> Okay, this again, I, I'm, I'm not around and uh, it seems that uh, he's trying out his uh, level 5 barbarians uh, up to 60 plus barbarian. Oh, spring traps <laughs> and uh, mortar wizards. My reinforcement troop actually does a, a little bit uh, help on that uh, defending. The minions coming in to get some of the gold. Okay, I can see that the Barbarians uh, is uh, being zapped by the Wizard Tower. The Archers are being burnt quite alive by the, the Dragon. Oops, Spring Traps. <laughs> you can see that the Spring Traps at the top side is actually doing quite well uh, against uh, bunch up troops like the Archers. So currently, he's actually deciding whether or not to deploy the rest of the troops. I'm not quite sure whether it, it does. <coughs> and he did. He actually dropped the rest of the archers. And uh, yep, he doesn't have the ability to actually go into the base at all. Oops, and uh, I don't think he want to waste his uh, barbarian king uh, to such an extent. So 90 barbarians and 61 archers uh, only gets 19% of this base. 
even though that I have att been attacked before um, in the previous attack. So the next one is uh, the last replay that I can actually replay is this 62 barbarians, 8 giants and uh, 5 wall breakers, uh, 45 goblins. You can see that my base actually <clears throat> attract a lot of farmers that use uh, very cheap troops. So here comes all the giants on the top side trying to attack uh, the wizard tower. Spring traps and you can see that the wall breakers coming in trying to get to the middle part of the base. But you can see that the two mortar are actually doing quite well against the, the entrance area. So a lot of barbarians, a lot of uh, attack level 1 barbarian king my um, reinforcement troops uh, dragons actually comes into play and a lot of goblins actually comes in and you can see the expo the mortar double range overlap plus the cannon archers and the air defense is actually doing quite well against any enemy attack spam of troops at the town hall area so if you want to attack the town hall, uh, be prepared to suffer a lot of losses if you are uh, using a barbarians, archers or wizards or even giants at the town hall area. Yep, uh, basically that's the defense for my town hall 9. Uh, the only change I made is uh, some of this uh, pathway that I created at the site. So you can see there's a pathway here with a spring traps. So instead of a pathway directly to the second layer, I make the pathway around the third layer. And um, you can see that it actually works against uh, certain, certain uh, troops, entrances and all that. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll create one more pathway, but uh, I'm still deciding where to put the pathway. Hmm. I think basically that, that's the gist of the defense for my Town Hall 9. And this is, I know a lot of people will claim that uh, it's pretty exposed of all the uh, you know the gold storages, elixir storages. Uh, it's very exposed. But I will counter them that uh, if enemy are using level 5 and below, uh, barbarians and archers and wizards, they, they cannot take all the storages in any direction that they are, the most they can get is one single direction and grab one quarter of the base and that is uh, one quarter of loss in exchange for uh, quite a number of hours of shield so I think is a good uh, compromise and if they spread their troops around the base they might not even get any storages because my defense are pretty strong against the enemy uh, trying to attack the storages right so basically that's it for this uh, let's play clash of clans uh episode 34 on the town hall 9 defense and i uh, really hope you like this review and pardon my voice because i'm pretty sick right now <laughs> so i'm trying to crank up this uh, video out for you guys so remember to like comment share and subscribe and hope you have a nice day see ya bye bye well basically that's it for this video remember to like comment share and subscribe and if you are interested in the clash of clans strategies you can press on the button on the left side and if you are interested in the let's play clash of clans videos you can press on the right button and basically that's it thank you very much for watching simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs>